today. Today we are going to look at the progressive income segment. So, as we all know that one of the main aim of the business is to make a profit. Like every business, its main aim is to make a profit. So, what the business needs to do is the business needs to uh, plan carefully in order to make that profit. So, one of the plans that the business do, the business prepares an income statement that is called the projected income statement. So, what is the business is actually doing? The business is preparing the income statement before uh, the transactions happen. Okay, so what is happening actually? Um, the business looks at the income statement of the previous year. Okay, the business look at the income statement of the previous year. So let's say this, this is first year. This is second year. Okay, so let's say this the income statement of this year. So if the business want to do a projected income statement, so meaning that if the business want to estimate that maybe in this year our income statement will be like this. Okay. So what the business need to do is the business need to look at the income statement of the previous year. Okay. So after looking at the income statement of the previous year, then the business now can now predict that maybe in the next year, okay, maybe in the next year, the income statement will be like this. Okay. So we know the format of the income statement. Okay, so let's say that the business, okay, the business, let's say we have, we have the rent income. Okay, these are the incomes of the business. Okay, so let's say that the business knows that in this financial year, there will be a new tenant. Okay, in this financial year, there will be a new tenant. Okay. So now what does what this means? This means that in this year's income statement, the rent income of the business will increase. It will increase because there will be a new tenant that will pay the rent, meaning that um, the rent income of the business will increase. Okay, so a new tenant comes in, so now we have more tenant. It means that now the rent income of the business they will increase. That is what we that is what uh, we do when we do the projected income statement. Okay, so the business can just predict that um, we have seen in the previous year that the bad debt uh, were worth this month. So maybe in this year they can be worth this much. Okay, that is what we we do there. The business look at its, at its data, so and then sees that most of the time, one percent of our data, they become the bad debt. Okay, so and then from there they estimate that at the rent income. I mean, they estimate that the bad debt they will increase or decrease. That is what we we are doing here in the projected income statement. Okay. So, so when when preparing the projected income statement, okay. So when preparing the projected income statement, the business has to consider, okay, consider the following. Um, the business has to consider the following, right? The first one. Um, the sales. Okay. The sales policy. So, will the sales... Will the sales... 
increase or decrease. Remember I said that when we are doing the projected income statement, we look at the previous year uh, income statement. Okay, we, we, we must also look at the previous year uh, balance sheet when we are doing the projected income statement. I will tell you as we go on. Okay, the next one, um, the purchases, the purchases, the next one, the markup. Um, on cost of sales. Okay, so in this case, we are looking. This is a markup. Okay, so in this case, we are looking at that. Since that the markup uh, is going to increase in this year. Okay, so we are planning that. Looking at the previous year income statement. So. This year, if we are increasing the markup, okay, um, the cost of sales they will increase by how much, or the sales they will increase by how much. So this way, we are projecting, we are estimating that maybe in this year the cost of sales they will be like this, or the sales they will be like this because of the markup, okay. Um. The next one, looking at the previous year income statement and the balance sheet, will the expenses increase or decrease? Will the expenses increase or decrease? Uh, for example, the expenses we're talking about, what for example, the wages, uh, or we can say the salaries, like there are many, there are many expenses. Okay, we can have the bad debt, like there are many expenses. Okay, so obviously, if the business knows that in the coming year, um, they will increase their employees. Or, so, if the business know that in the coming year they will increase uh, their employees, so what the business will do, the business will look at the previous year's uh, income statement and see that because in this coming year we are going to increase the employees, so what we need to do is this now we need to plan that in this uh, year's income statement, obviously the wages they will be they will increase because we have uh, increased the employees of the business okay the next one will the income of the business increase or decrease will the incomes increase or decrease You need to remember that when we are doing all this, we are looking at the previous year's income statement. So meaning that when we are planning um, for the projected income statement of the year that we are in, okay? When we are planning for a projected income statement, we look um, at the previous year's income statement and see that in the coming year, the incomes maybe they will increase like i said that maybe if we know that in the in the coming year we are going to have um, a new tenant so meaning that now we are going to have more people that will be paying the rent meaning that the rent income of the business will increase so incomes for example we have what we have uh, the rent income right and then the next one will there be 
an additional purchase of fixed asset or disposal of fixed asset okay which will affect the depreciation okay so we 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 are estimating the income in the income statement right so we know that the income statement has the incomes and expenses so when the business knows that in that income in the coming year they will buy uh, the fixed asset so this means that the business can plan according to that that if the business is planning uh, to buy more uh, asset so what is going to happen is that when the business is um, uh, planning the projected income statement, they will have to increase the depreciation with the knowledge that um, with the knowledge that um, the fixed asset they will increase, which will also increase the depreciation. Or if the business will uh, dispose the fixed asset, so if the business will dispose the fixed asset, so this means that now the business is going to have less fixed asset, meaning that now the depreciation will decrease. So those are the things that the business looks at when preparing the project. Another one, um, will, will there be an increase or decrease in the long term loan okay which will affect which will affect the interest on loan okay so when preparing um the projected income statement like i said the business has to look at the income statement and also look at the balance sheet okay so if the business is planning that in the next coming year we are going to increase the loan or we are going to decrease the loan so when we are when a business is planning the business will will plan the interest on loan in the income statement according to that for example if the business is planning to increase the income statement i mean if the business is is planning to increase the long term loan okay if the business is planning to increase the long term loan so this means that when the business is preparing or when the business is planning for the next year's income statement, the business will have to uh, increase the interest on loan. Looking at that, um, in the coming year, the business will uh, have a more long term loan. Okay? Vice versa. If the business is planning, uh, to decrease the long-term loan so this means that the business um, when planning to do the projected income statement the interest on loan they must decrease it okay knowing that um, soon the loan will be decreased okay um thank you so much uh, soon we are going to uh, do the projected income statement in the next video.